Hi, today we're going to talk about Postal from Image Comics, the Omnibus. Postal uh, from Image Comics has come out in an Omnibus. It's been out for a while, I just haven't got around to finishing looking through it um, and reading it so I can talk about it. Uh, so I'm not into just buying a book and then showing you it. I'd rather read it and let you know what I think about it. Um, I did read the majority of this series digitally, but when I saw that they were bringing out a omnibus, I thought, oh, I shall strike while the iron's hot and buy it. Um, the book is by Matt Hawkins and Brian Hill, uh, and it covers the story of a town full of criminals. It's a secret town, and it's where sort of the worst of the worst go. They can pay their way in to live and sort of avoid the law. Uh, but let's have a look at the book and I'll talk more about that in a moment. So the book Postal uh, is about a small town, as I said before, uh, called Eden. Uh, this is a town where criminals go to sort of uh, live out their lives once they've uh, given up their lives of crime. Uh, and these are real nasty people, they're not, not sort of petty crooks or anything. Uh, it's overseen by the main character Mark's mother and she sort of rules it with an iron fist in order to keep order. The main character is Mark, he's an autistic uh, man who does the postal service for the town. Uh, people don't really respect him and they push him around because obviously they're you know bad sorts and whilst they might not be doing crimes it doesn't change their personalities. Uh, you follow Mark and his girlfriend Maggie as they form a relationship and begin to see the sort of cracks in the town structure. Along the way you have this imposing figure of Mark's father, Isaac, who set up the town with his mother and has since left. You find out the reasons behind him leaving as you go through the story. It's sort of a slow reveal in the plot, so I won't spoil it by saying it here, because that's part of one of the main issues in the book. And you see about him wanting to come back to the town for reasons. Um, you may think they're good, bad, uh, you have to read the book and find out. You meet characters along the way, such as there's people uh, who are the one-handed boxer, who obviously made a bad deal and got his hand chopped off. You've got an old hermit who, it would appear, killed JFK hiding out there. And you also have interactions from the government and the law, because they kind of know that the time exists and there's a sort of un unwritten agreement that as long as they keep to themselves, they will keep it off, all sat navs and maps and things like that. So people don't go there accidentally and they can just keep these sort of maniacs uh, hidden away. And it's, it's better for everyone that way. It's a great story. Uh, it does finish at the end of this um, this omnibus or complete collection as uh, Image call it. But they have started printing... Um, new stories going on after the end of this book but the actual main story itself does tie itself up so you don't have to worry about that this is an excellent omnibus printing bound really well and there's no dust cover which is fine i don't not bothered about that and the page quality is really good it's thick glossy paper if you've got other omnibuses you will notice the difference immediately with the book i'll throw up the um the pricing at the time that I bought it on screen, uh, just so you can see uh, how much I got it for. I think it was about around the £40 mark. Not sure what it's going for at the moment. Uh, maybe higher, maybe lower, but it's certainly worth getting if you want a complete story. Uh, if you're interested in crime things, if, particularly if you like, uh, say, the criminal stories. This is a, a good um, a good story to go along, go along with that. Uh, it's part of another or comics universe where you've got the Tithe uh, and Think Tank uh, all set in the same world. I think the Tithe is quite a good actual um, comic book series as well about organised religion and crime related to that. Okay, so what do you think of the book? Is it when you were thinking of getting it? Did you even know that it existed? I mean, it's rare for Image to do a proper omnibus, even though they call it a complete collection. Um, but this is a good quality book and I would recommend it for your library uh, if it's something you're into or it's something you're um, thinking of getting, particularly for the price. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.